Good Sunday morning. I'm KSLA First Alert Meteorologist Dustin Evans. We got a lot to talk about. We also have rain still ongoing here in the Arkle, Texas. You're heading out the door. You're gonna want to take that umbrella, especially this morning. Uh, if you're le if you're not leaving till like you know nine ten, you should be fine. But if you're leaving within you know thirty minutes an hour uh, between this video being posted, uh, you should probably consider taking the umbrella. You should take extra time. Uh, just because there are wet roadways and the umbrella is going to be especially handy in our southern parishes Natchitoches Parish uh, and just northwest of Alexandria there These showers lingering from overnight moving out looking at rain coverage over the next 24 hours only isolated chances exist uh, at this point for Shreveport and Bossier City, Texarkana for the most part the same thing. Natchitoches you're getting a little bit more rain right now, maybe a little bit going into the afternoon, but you'll be isolated for much of the day. Now we're looking at rain chances uh, on Tuesday. That is the big day we're keeping an eye on. That is the day where there is a threat for severe weather. And the Storm Prediction Center has placed a large portion of the Arklatex, including Shreveport, Bossier City. Natchitoches, Minden, uh, and very much, uh, very well a, a portion of Marshall, Texas under an enhanced risk for severe weather. That is a three out of five risk with all modes of severe weather being on the table. Take a look at Future Track. This is our in-house model where we can start seeing the line. We're going to start seeing that line move in uh, late morning and continue to move through the noon hour and as it continues to move through the Arklatex the threat will increase as it hits that area where they have the enhanced risk the threat's going to increase that'll happen about two o'clock going into uh, your Tuesday afternoon and last through the rest of the afternoon you can see here five o'clock it's right over the line is over Shreveport over Minden over Bossier City over large portions of Bossier Parish extending down into Nacogdoches County all modes of severe weather are possible with this system so we are talking the potential for tornadoes damaging wind gusts flash flooding and hail the severe weather threat continues going into the evening hours, but now the sun has set, so it will hopefully be diminished a little bit by this time, eventually moving out going into the overnight hours. That is something we're going to keep a close eye on and bring you all the updates as they're made available. Temperatures right now in the 60s for the most part, 55 in Minden as well as Texarkana, Idabel, and Mount Pleasant, the rest of the area. in the 60s so apologies for the pause there high rest future track now for the rest of the day we're going to see those showers move out then it's going to be cloudy for the rest of the day pretty much maybe a peak of sunshine here and there and going into the overnight hours into monday the only chances tomorrow are isolated scattered real light shower chances that will continue into the overnight hours Across the Arklatex, highs for today, North Arklatex is going to be a little bit cooler than the rest of the region, but we are going to be cooler just in general. Highs uh, in the low to mid-60s expected, kind of an average through the region, but it's not going to be everywhere. Going to be very, uh, it's going to be dependent on where you're at, uh, what temperatures you reach. Really, the first like seven-day forecast, all eyes are on Tuesday, where we're looking at the low 70s, and hopefully... The last time we'll be seeing the low 70s going into next weekend. Things are looking sunny and looking like December again. I'll have up-to-date details coming up with KSLA News 12 this morning and this evening at 530 on air. We'll see you then.